Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Thursday the 4th of May 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube where I channel for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Relationships, but I also give mini reads in there. You can book in for those mini reads on my website, BeHealing.com. I'll do 20 for each show. You book in for that beforehand so you don't have to come live. It's available to everybody now. Um, You can just watch the replay to get your mini read afterwards and book yourself in. You can find the next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. If you're interested in the private reading with me, they're available from my website, BeHealing.com. You can find the link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. I get them out within 48 hours of you ordering them. If it says it's sold out, it's just sold out for the day. So do check back a day or so later. So what's in the energies for everybody today? We've got immortality, something that just won't go away, and born with a gift. Now, so it's something within you that just won't go away, something that you're good at, something that... Um, is calling you something that you need to be put into use. This could be a talent or some kind of a skill that you've got. You're really good at it. You're not using it. You're not sharing that talent with the world. It's not going to go away. There could be a calling today to be using that gift that you've got to help other people or sharing it in some kind of a way. Given these gifts for a reason, generosity. So, yeah, I think this is your generosity. I think it's time to be generous and it's not, it's not necessary to give your gifts away for free. Like I wouldn't recommend anyone do that, especially if it's like a service. I know like for many years I was struggling with that, trying to run a business as a charity really, and but I'm not getting any, any donations. It was only me donating my time um, for it and, and that was just not sustainable because, you know. So yeah, don't do that kind of thing. Don't be too generous with your time so that it's, it's a one-way street kind of thing. But... There's generosity and there's generosity. Sharing my gifts is enough. I don't have to do it for free as well. Do you know what I mean? So you could, could be, um, yeah, being generous by sharing your gifts. Or thinking, formulating how to do that perhaps. Also have generosity again and dance. Hmm. You might want to toy with the idea of how you could do it. You could come up with new ideas today of how to share your gifts. Or an idea that you've had that just won't go away. Mm. Okay, tell us more, guys. What's going on today? You've got the sun. Your inner child being happy. So a lot of happiness today. Um, you could be bright, have a lot of bright ideas, feeling happy about doing something new or perhaps working in a, in a way that you haven't before, something like that. Eight of Pentacles could be working at something, creating something today and that could pay off for you. Could be paying off now or see a way to for it to pay off. Death and rebirth, significant change in your life. Old things fall away, new things start. And the Queen of Pentacles, bringing more stability for yourself. Very nice, I like it. The sun, so it makes you happy, this thing, whatever it is, it makes you very happy. Perhaps you're just coming up with a, what's this? Coming up with a, a way of using your skills. It's, it's like tarot reading. There wasn't really a way to do it previously, like pre-internet times without, you know, there's only certain ways that you could do it now. With the with like YouTube and things like that, we can do it very differently. We can do it in a sustainable to our energy kind of a way, um, without having to see people face to face, which can be quite draining um, for this kind of work. For me, anyway, in particular, some people might thrive off that. Me, no, not so much. Um, so it could be that something is available now, um, some kind of technology, so that you can do it sometimes we're not just waiting for ourselves to be ready to do something we're also waiting for um the means to be able to do something so you know to come about so you could be breaking free of some of of restrictions or feeling like you can't do something noticing something new that is healing for you or relaxing for you it makes you feel better about doing it hmm. so you might this this is kind of an energy where you're suddenly aware 
of a, a new technology or a new way of doing something, perhaps because someone else is doing something similar. And you're like, I, this is how I could share my gift with the world. And it makes you very happy. And you're noticing it in someone else. And it, it feels it feels relaxing to you as well, the four of voices. It, it makes you go, oh, yeah, I could do it that way instead of like, oh, that would be a bit overwhelming. You know, it's because it will be your way. If like doing YouTube is overwhelming for you, like it's not for me, it's very relaxing for me to do YouTube. Um, then, you know, horses for courses, isn't it? We all, we all um, respond to different things. Anyway, what's behind that is new beginnings. So you've got like a new start here or being able to do something in a, a particular way. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is getting payback for your work now. But I, I'm feeling like it's more like a realizing a realization that you can get payback for it. Three of emotions. Other people being involved or a, a party kind of thing. Um, this, for some of you, this could be an idea in the realm of, you know how, like there used to be Tupperware parties, um, or Avon cosmetic parties. There's probably, I'm, I'm like thinking years ago, um, but there's probably other things like that now, you know, selling for a company, some kind of a party, getting your friends together, that it that style of thing, that kind of networking thing might be applicable to you. And if you're working in that kind of way, that might be quite light to you. It wouldn't be to me, but it's just thinking around those lines or being made aware that you could do something like that. I mean, some psychics would do that. Some psychics like thrive off stuff like that, doing like psychic parties and stuff like that. Like That wouldn't be for me. Not at all, but it could be for you. Um, or you might find that something will pay off by getting a group of people together. This could be public speaking to sell what it is that you do or to show your stuff. And that might feel light to you. Whatever it is, it needs to feel light to you, not overwhelming. If it's overwhelming to you, that's not your way. It's not your way of doing it. What's behind this? But there's a definite group kind of a thing, group of people together, and you're like, oh, yeah, I could do it that way. Unlimited possibilities are behind that. So there's so many different ways that you could do it. So just, like, have your mind open today of all the possibilities of the ways that you could do things, especially in group kind of settings. It doesn't have to be in person. It could be online. Mm. Okay, death and rebirth. So there's a significant change in your life. Or there's that, like the possibilities of a significant change in your life if you do act on this. The six of materials, it will be reciprocated if you do. So this is kind of the universe thumbs up to you saying, yeah, you know, you're given these ideas for a reason. You've been shown this thing for a reason. Um, go for it. Do it this way. It's too many. What's behind this? This big change. What's up with that? Perhaps you've been asking for more abundance or wanting to share your gifts or something like that. That could be behind it. Change. It's just change. So you've been asking for change. That's what's behind that. So it's going to pay off. It's going to be reciprocal. A lot of these cards coming up. You'll gain more stability from it. It's the queen of materials again. Ton of inspiration. It will be less burdensome to you. And the high priestess intuitively you're going to get a hit on this, like, yeah, this is for me. It's going to bring more stability about for you. So trust those hunches that you get today around around this stuff, this kind of a thing. How you can do what it is that you do or what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to share with the world in a different kind of a way. Be open to those possibilities today. Reunion of souls is behind that. So you cannot have other people. Um, how can I put this? Soul contracts with other people. You've helped them out in previous lifetimes by showing them the way. They're helping you out in this lifetime by showing you the way. Who knows? You might have been my guide in a previous lifetime. Then you're watching this reading this time and I'm giving you this guidance this time. It's that kind of an arrangement here. So people could be showing up in your life with some information, show, point you the way kind of thing. 
um, and it's like, like a reunion of souls. Your same soul group trying to help each other out, show each other the way. What about our love lives today? Love lives. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. What else in our love lives today? Interestingly enough, um, today, the day of me recording this, it's the 21st of April, and um, Mercury Retrograde just started. And I was just saying in Psychic Cafe that I'm, I'm a one hit, a one take wonder kind of thing. The only time I'll ever like re record or stop videos and start again is just if I've messed up in the first, first part, like saying the date wrong or something like that. Generally, I won't re record it um, unless it's in those first few seconds. Today, Mercury Retrograde, this is the first video that I'm making today. This is like the fifth attempt. It's just right at the start that I just kept on getting it wrong. <laughs> Mercury retrograde, what does it do to us, huh? And it will still be Mercury retrograde, the date that this is going out to. Anyway, our love lives. We've got push through any insecurity and go for it. That feels like more like the general energies to me rather than love life stuff. But love life is love life, you know. It's the things that we love as well as the people that we love. What else in our love lives today? Bit of romance, perhaps. Flirting. Bit of flirtatiousness. The spice. What else? Chemistry. Very nice. So, flirting with someone, some chemistry. Get your eye on someone, someone shining out to you. What else? Defensiveness. Perhaps someone being defensive. That could be you being defensive as well. Not wanting to get involved with people. Got manipulation and trust. So you could have trust issues leading to defensiveness because you've been manipulated in the past. So a bit of flirting going on, but you could feel defensive and like wanting to push someone away, feels dangerous to kind of let them in. What else in the energies today? What a noise going on outside. What else in the energies today? We have a chain, a chain of offense that will affect your life. That is the energy today. Um, yeah, I think... I think there's significant changes could come about from the ideas that you're getting today. Tiger, do something risky, taking a chance. You're going to need to take a chance and act on something. We also have a dark woman. What's this dark woman got to do with the price of fish? She is Cain, paying attention to your health. So could be a woman who needs to pay attention to her health. It could be you. Or you could be seeing a dark woman, a woman with dark hair, about something to do with your health as well. It could be a fitness instructor. It could be a doctor, dentist, anything like that. Just checking. I thought I had a dentist appointment today. <laughs> okay. So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your answer. But this is just a bit of fun because this is a general reading. If you want me to pull one of these crystals out of my bag, then you can go to my website, mehealing.com and book yourself in for one of those mini reads, which I will give out in my live show which you can either be there live or you can watch my replay. I can also use those in private readings as well. Book yourself in. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. And after you've booked in, click on the Contact Us page. Put any questions that you've got for your reading in there. If you book the mini read um, for that live show, there is actually a box to put your question in there. Okay, how best to deal with these energies today? We've got the Six of Cups, the Past and the Knight of Swords. Okay. So looking back in the past at how you've moved forward on ideas before, are you a procrastinator or do you let ideas go rather than kind of taking that risk and jumping on it? Um, pay, pay heed, take heed to what you've done in the past and the way that you've moved forward on things just in case you need to do it differently this time. This is a great idea that you need to take action on. It's going to be life changing and it's going to bring a lot of happiness to you and stability and money is what it feels like um, and, and happiness. So 
take action on this. Don't be fearful of it. So think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. For your answer is yes. Go for it. Absolutely go for it today. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click like down there before you click off. Click on the subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me. Um, because I do one of these energy updates every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in that Psychic Cafe show where you can get those mini reads, get yourself booked in beforehand. And I also make three Love Bigger card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now and watch that next if you want. Well, have the best day ever and I'll see you tomorrow.